Okay, now that we've actually um, done the test, we need to enter the codes into the computer. I'm in the patient's hub and we're going... Okay. So we're in the hub, we're going to go into lab reports. The lab reports. Even if you went from 28 a week. Type the first three letters. First three letters. So struck. First off, you have to change this to all. All. It's going to be the in house. The one that has IH in house strep screen. Okay. You will click diagnosis code to associate with the CPT. Press OK. And it will automatically populate in the procedure codes. Great, now let's enter the flu. And then how do we actually say that this was positive? Then you will click back into lab strep screen. And this was generated because he entered it. And right here where it says results, you will click positive, press OK. And it will show. Okay, right now let's there. enter flu screen. Back to lab. You have to change it to all every time. Okay. Influenza screen. Now you don't really have a diagnosis to go with that. Oh, okay. So, so right now, I, I, whenever I was the provider, I entered in the strep. So he was able to attach a strep test to the uh, the test that, to the diagnosis. But here he's saying that I did not diagnose her with anything that justifies my need for a flu test. So he would come back to me and say, "Hey, you didn't give me a good enough code." So I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, "Okay, let's do sore throat." So I'm going to tell him what code I want. He, he's going to be nice for me and add it. But you could also just make him add it himself. Click assessment. He's going to go in there and he's going to add sore throat. It's starting to pop up. Our cute sore throat. Oh, so now he's going to... There we go. He entered it in because he was able to attach it to a diagnosis code. So now he's going to go in here to the influence screen and give us our result, which was negative. Okay. We have our chart built.